Oscar and the Cricket, a book about moving and rolling by Jeff Waring. There's the title page, Oscar and the Cricket. One fall day, Oscar was up on the hill when he found something round and red in the grass. He sniffed it and nudged it. What could it be? Cricket jumped up. It's a ball, he said. You can make it roll. Try pushing it with your paw. So Oscar did. The ball rolled away through the grass and then lay still. Why did it stop? Oscar asked. The thick grass slowed it down, Cricket said. Try rolling it on the path. But a long branch was lying in the way. We'll have to move it, Cricket said. I'm not big or strong enough, but you are, Oscar. Try giving it a pull. Urgh, Oscar groaned. Slowly the branch started to move. Oscar put the ball in the path and gave it another push. This time it rolled along and along and along. The smoother the surface you roll it on, Cricket said, the farther it will go. It's rolling in a straight line, Oscar noticed, and it's heading toward the tree. Oh dear, Oscar said. It's all right, said Cricket. The ball hit the side of the tree and that made it roll in a different direction. Bounce. For a moment, Oscar stopped watching the ball to look up. All the leaves were swaying and fluttering. The leaves can move by themselves, Oscar said. It looks like it, Cricket said, but the wind is pushing them and making them move. Does everything need a push to make it move, Oscar asked. What about me? You can move by yourself, Cricket said. Most animals can. Our bodies have muscles to help us. And he jumped up and down. Moving makes you change shape, Oscar said, laughing. We can use our muscles to move ourselves and to move other things too, Cricket said. A leaf cutter ant can lift 50 times its own weight in its jaws. A hawk finch can crack a hard cherry pit in its bill. A spider monkey can swing its whole body by its tail. A dung beetle can push a ball of dung the size of an apple with its back legs. An elephant can pull down a tree branch with its trunk. Just then Oscar saw the ball again lying in the grass. This time he gave it a great big push. It rolled through some mud and it rolled through some leaves. Is it slowing down, Oscar asked? Yes, Cricket said, but it hasn't stopped. You gave it such a strong push. Maybe it will never stop, Oscar said. But just then, a kitten put out a paw, and the ball stopped. Hello, said Oscar. I'm Oscar, and this is Cricket. Who are you? I'm Ted, said Ted. Can I play? Ted gave the ball a push. Oscar ran after it. Look out, called Cricket. Run. Roll. Flutter. Jump. Everything was moving on the hill. On the hill, Oscar found out about these things. Getting going. An object needs an outside force, a push, or a pull to start it moving. Try moving different objects. Which ones can you push? Which ones can you pull? Are there some you can push and pull? Keeping going. Once an object is moving, it travels in a straight line, unless something gets in the way, like the ball bouncing off the tree. See if you can make something move in two directions. Try up and down or forward and backward. Stopping. An object needs an outside force to make it stop moving too. The stronger the force, the more quickly it stops. Stopping after a short time, like the ball in the grass. Stopping after a long time, like the ball rolling on the smooth surface. Or stopping instantly when the cat put his paw on it. Try pushing a ball on a smooth surface and on a bumpy surface. What do you notice? Oscar thinks moving and rolling are great. Do you think so too?